Hi, Russ Miller here, and I wanted to talk to you guys today about Mapex Saturn Evolution. And this is a brand new series for Mapex drums that I uh, was involved in um, the R&D for as well. And uh, the name says it all. It's really an evolution of the classic Saturn series, probably the most uh, well-known series of drums from Mapex through its 30-plus years of manufacturing drums. Now, Evolution takes Saturn to another level by uh, expanding the sonic palette, meaning most of the original Saturn models were all hybrid shells, which is common for Mapex. It's been a foundation for design for Mapex uh, really since the beginning. But uh, the hybrid shell was maple and walnut. And there was a special edition series of Saturn that you might remember, which was actually the first kit that I began to play as a Mapex artist. And that was uh, birch walnut Saturn. So, but they were just special edition, like a limited edition thing. So what we've done is taken Saturn Evolution and combined the best of both worlds, the, the classic uh, Saturn sound, which is uh, maple walnut, and then made the option of having birch walnut in there as well. So this particular kit that I'm playing here is a maple walnut kit. So it's pretty much like a standard uh, Saturn sound that you're used to. And I'll explain how that changed even a little bit as well. But basically, now you can have your combination of Saturn, or Saturn drums in maple walnut or birch walnut, and you can have that in the same kit. So you could have a birch walnut bass drum and maple walnut toms. You could even have birch walnut floor toms and then the maple hybrid walnut high toms, um, of course, with the snares as well. And what that'll do is allow you to sort of tweak the drum sound to conform to what you need each component to do. Like, let's say you want the floor toms to be punchier and darker, then you do birch walnut for those. If you want the bass drum to have more attack on it, if you're playing heavier music or you got to cut through distorted guitars, having a maple walnut bass drum would help that a lot. It has more attack. Now, one of the other things that happened was the positioning of the walnut in the shell, which is super duper important. Uh, in earlier models, the walnut was the interior plies, so the reflection of the drum was being changed or sonically manipulated with the walnut, and now the walnut has been moved to the contact point of the head. So what that does is it allows you to have the fundamental sound of the maple or the birch and then have that walnut dry the sound up because whatever contacts the head at that bearing edge point really has probably the biggest effect on the sound of the drum other than the sizing and things in the, and, the, and the way the chamber is put together. But as far as the contact of the wood to the head, that, that wood really makes a big, big difference in the way the drum sounds. So right now the walnut is contacting contacting the head in both hybrid models. So it, it gives you that that Saturn tone, that Saturn sound, which really comes from that walnut in both series of the Saturn Evolution drums. Now, I'm looking at this basic kit here, which is an, uh, an 8x10, a 7x10, 8x12, 14-14, and this is a 16 by 22 inch kick. Again, this is all the maple walnut hybrid, and this is the maple walnut um, snare drum as well. On this side, I have uh, the new Black Panther uh, Cirrus snare drum, which is a steel shell, chrome over steel. One of my favorite drums, actually. And also with Evolution, you have the Sonic Saver hoops, which, which is an inward flanged hoops, which drives and focuses the sound downwards. That's a different uh, situation for Saturn as well. Most Saturn kits came with triple flanged hoops. So the punchiness of this kit is really there and the drive. Now, you might notice it's similar lugs to the other Saturn, which is the Saturn B lug, we call it. But this particular lug has been redesigned, as with the regular new Saturn, to be a locking B lug. So now that does not detune when you're playing them, which works really, really well. There's a, 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 a neoprene insert inside of there that stops the tension rod from backing off. That's the locking Saturn B lug. So Sonic Saver hoops. And you probably are noticing the mounting system. That is, of course, brand new, and that is called the halo mount. Now, the halo mount 
is a brand new under lug band mounting system. So of course, band mounting systems have been on the market for many years, but the halo mount is now mounted under the lug. So the drum sort of rests on it, right? Rather than hanging from the tension rods or the hoop, like some other band mounting systems, it's, it hang, it is basically sitting on the halo mount rather than hanging from the hoop. When those band mounts push up on hoops and tension rods, they affect the sound a little bit. So this really helps with that. And one of the other things that's on there is this new SAS or sonic attenuation system that was developed out of Design Lab. And a lot of these features of the new Saturn Evolution comes from the Design Lab series. But this SAS knob here on the halo mount, it's really, really great because you basically turn this in or release it out and it binds the band mount together or releases it. And by doing that, it affects the drum sound to have more or less sustain. So let me give you an example of that. Right now it's open. And then I'll close the SAS dampening knob. Open it up one more time. It's a pretty dramatic difference, and especially in the feel of the drum, it feels quite different. If you want a drier, punchier sound, you just turn that knob in. It also gives you a little bit more kickback out of the drums because it's re pushing more uh, of the vibration of the drum or the sympathetic resonance of the drum into the hardware and releasing it back and forth. So that's what the SAS knob on the halo mount is all about. And the brand new halo mounts just do a great job of letting the drums do what they do, which is sing and have a great sound to them. So Saturn Evolution, again, you can select maple or birch hybrid shells and every size is available. Um, 8 through 18 toms, 18 through 24 kicks, and also the snare drum series that's dedicated to Saturn Evolution. There's two models for that, and those come in two different sizes as well. And one of the key components to doing this is that all of the finishes are crossover finishes. So this is an SAS-1. Uh, satin finish. It's a metallic satin finish, we call it. It's sort of a gunmetal gray, and I really like this finish, especially with the um, the black-plated uh, hardware on it. So this is a gunmetal gray SAS-1 metallic satin finish. And uh, the, what I mean by crossover finishes is no matter what finish you get, if you have birch toms or maple toms, it's the same finish, so obviously the kit will match. So you, you'll only know by the sound of it and, of course, how you designed the kit to begin with, okay? So you can combine them together in the same color. All right, so Saturn Evolution, the brand-new evolution of the Saturn series for Mapex drums. I just encourage everybody to spend some time playing this fine instrument and checking it out. There's so many other things to talk about, like the... Um, the static 90 degree legs and different things that come from Design Lab. So check out mapexdrums.com to see all the details of that. And I look forward to getting back out on the road and seeing everybody playing these great drums and so many of the other great instruments from Mapex like Design Lab and so on and so forth. Okay, thanks for joining me.